Hey everyone, Cash here, back with another video from Madden 16. Today we continue our franchise with the Oakland Raiders. We're currently sitting 1-1 one one on the season. After dropping week 1 to the Bengals, we rebounded and we won week 2 against the Ravens. And now here we are, week 3, first road game of the season. And we're taking on Johnny Manziel and the Browns. Four touchdowns, two interceptions for Manziel. Not the greatest completion percentage. As we get this one going, second and 11 here from the 27, Manziel back to throw, and he's going to connect with Andre ha Hawkins. Excuse me, not Andre Hopkins. That is two totally different levels of talent. But here we go, third and four from the 35, Shotgun Manziel dropping back to throw. Going to find Benjamin for the first down as he's out to the 49-yard line. Manziel, the perfect two for two on the day. Now first and 10 from the 49 Dre in motion, going to hand off to Crowell, and Crowell going to take the big hit there, but he's down at the 44, eight yards on his first carry of the day. Now third and two, Manziel going play action. Someone's coming in. Who is it? None other than Khalil Mack coming in for his first sack of the day, and the Browns are going to be forced to punt. So Raiders with the ball here, first and 10 play action. The first play for Carr looking downfield. He's got somebody open. He's going to go deep, and it's going to be pass interference. As that is, again, another example of how great the DB wide receiver interactions are this year. Cooper basically just taken down there, tackled by Tremont Williams. So we are going to get the spot foul there, which is going to put us at the 25. It's now third and 10 as Carr looking to continue the drive, and he will. Holmes finds it, cannot get in the end zone, going to get taken out at the 5. But here we are now, first and goal from the 5-yard line. Carr under center, dropping back to quick throw. He's going to find a receiver, and it's going to be Amare Cooper, the rookie. He's been playing absolutely unbelievable through the first three weeks of the season. Played very well last week and looks to be continuing that here this week. So now 7-0 the score. Browns going back on offense, and Crowell nowhere to go on that place. Now third and long for Manziel. Empty backfield. He's dropping back, looking downfield. Can he find someone? Yes, he can. It's going to be Hausler, and he's going to avoid the first tackle. Picks up the first down in a huge 22-yard gain for him there as what a poor defensive play from us. As it's now second and nine, Crowell the carry, and he's going to break the first tackle, but not the second one. He'll pick up about four. That's going to be his longest rush of the day so far. But now third and four, Manziel dropping back. Another throw on this one's going to be intercepted. It's Keith McGill coming down with that one. A lazy pass there from Manziel to the sideline as McGill easy. Just going to go up there, get that one as we get the interception. It's now second and ten. Latavius Murray up the middle is going to pick up nine on the play, setting up third and one here. From the 49, Carr looking downfield, and he's going to be hit as he throws. Was going to go to the running back there out of the backfield, but couldn't get it away in time, and we are forced to punt. So still a 7-0 game here. Last minute of the first quarter, Brian Hartline with the catch coming across the middle there as he gets the blocks and picks up the first down. So now second and seven as we begin the second quarter. Manziel dropping back, going to throw, and he's going to find his tight end there as that looked a little, little odd there, a very quick kind of glitchy quick stop there but he's inbound so first and 10 now Manziel another throw in this one nearly intercepted that's Charles Woodson the eternal Charles Woodson there making the play as it's now another third down here for Manziel and the Browns this one though not going to be completed a poor throw from Manziel he's five and nine on the day and I guess the wind was so bad and their kicker is so bad that the Browns couldn't even kick the field goal so they punt the ball we get it back and on second and 10 here Michael Rivera with the catch, we'll take it out to the 26-yard line. Now first and 10. We have 10 minutes to go in this first half. Carr dropping back, throwing in this one off the mark, and it's going to be intercepted. It's Gibson sliding there, just making the pick, and that's our first mistake of the day. A poor throw there from Carr, well off the mark, and just unfortunate that the safety was back there waiting for it as now the Browns take over with a very short field. And Manziel with that first down completion there in the last play. Now second and 10, Manziel throwing once again, getting some pressure. No, actually, it's going to be picked up pretty well. The throw out to the tight end, but that is going to be only for a couple yards there to Dre. So now third and four from the 13. The Browns looking for their first score of the day. Manziel going to the end zone, but this one's going to be knocked down. And again, it's Charles Woodson. He is having himself quite the first half here as he's got three tackles and a couple deflections. So the Browns finally kick the field goal. It's a 7-3 game here, and we're going back to work. Second and six, Latavius Murray out of the backfield. Going to take that screen, picks up a big first down. So now first and 10 play action here. Carr looking downfield. No one's really open, but you know what? He's just going to throw it up, and who's going to come down with it? None other than Amare Cooper. What an unbelievable catch. we got to take a look at a replay here, as I have no idea how he catches this. The defender is there. He just goes up, grabs it, and that's one-handed catcher as he just holds on to that through the catch. 
What an unbelievable play from Cooper. So it's now second and eight from the 11. Carr throwing in this one. Another ridiculous catch. That's going to be Rivera with the touchdown catch. And just like that, it is now 14 to three. It is all Raiders in this first half. As five minutes to go in the first half, the Browns and Manziel going back to work, going deep, and you got to be kidding me. It's just a series of unbelievable catches. This time it's going to be Andre Hawkins. And look at this, the Odell Beckham one-handed reach behind. Unbelievable catch. That's got to be the catch of the day. That tops Cooper's catch there just a little bit ago. So the Browns now first and 10. The throw to Gabriel. He's going to break a tackle. The second guy is not going to catch him. And he's into the end zone. The quick answer from the Browns. 45 yards for the touchdown as they get their first seven points of the game. So it's now 14 to 10. Just a four-point game. And here the poor throw from Carr. His second interception. He had Rivera the tight end there, but he just throws it a little bit too low. And Kruger dropping back in coverage will pick this one off and this one turning south here to end the first half that last throw is incomplete from Manziel and on third and 12 another incompletion as he is having some accuracy issues here so fortunately we don't give up any points from that turnover as we get the ball back just under three minutes to go in the half Carr going back to work here he's going to be sacked fumbles the ball fortunately Murray is there aware to pick it up so now third and 15 from the 17-yard line. Carr nearly sacked again, and Cooper nearly comes down with an unbelievable catch again. But he's going to drop that one, takes the hit, and we are forced to punt it back to the Browns. So the end of this first half turning a little bit ugly here as Manziel completes that throw for the first down just under a minute to go now. Second and 10, Manziel going deep. He's got a receiver, but it's just overthrown as that is Benjamin there. The speedster cannot catch up to that pass as that was a for sure touchdown there. So instead, third and 10 here. Manziel throwing. Hausler not going to get the first down. And the Browns will kick a... Actually, no, they're going to punt it there. That's not even close to being field goal range. So we get the ball back. One last shot. And this unbelievable. Look at this first half. The catches in this first half. Rivera with his own ODB behind the back. One-handed grab as that's going to put us... Well, well, within field goal range, this kick will put us in field goal range. So out for the long kick. Sebastian Janikowski, and with the win, that's going to be an easy one. So we go into the half with a seven-point lead, and then I accidentally skipped through halftime, and I also accidentally called a timeout. So you see we only have two timeouts, but you see the first half pretty even, actually, for both teams. Really, the only difference is going to be the turnovers, as we have two, they have just one. But we do still have a seven-point lead. We begin the second half, Latavius Murray up the middle, Going to have just a couple yards there on that carry. Four to be exact. So now second and six from the 39. Carr dropping back. He's going to be hit as he throws, but it's still going to be completed. That's going to be Streeter. A Cleveland Browns defensive back going to be hurt at the end of the play. Now second and four. Carr going to hand it off to Murray. Up the middle. Has the blocks. Has the hole. And he's going to see you all later. Latavius Murray going to the end zone for the touchdown. And what a nice performance from everyone there in that play. The offensive line getting out, getting their blocks. Murray finding the hole and having the vision to get through there. And it is now a 24-10 game. And on third and 10, Johnny Manziel, another bad throw. And that's a three and out for the Browns. So we have the ball right back, looking to extend our lead. Carr, second and 10, dropping back. Thinks about running it. Pulls up. He's going to be hit. And he fumbles. And it's a turnover. That's turnover number three on the day. As Derek Carr having some issues taking care of the football is now second and three. Hausler, the tight end, catches it, nearly gets into the end zone, but he's going to be out of bounds at the one. So second and goal here, Manziel Pistol, handoff to Crowell. He will find the end zone, and this one is a ball game once again. 24-17, a one-score game. Second and 11, Carr going back to work, looking for the throw. Will find Crabtree, excuse me, but he takes a hit, drops the ball. Another Browns DB hurt on the play, but here third and 11, Carr dropping back, looking, has someone, throws it, but that's not who we were going for. We were going for Cooper. Smith jumps up and grabs that one, so we're going to be short of the first down, and we have to give the ball back to the Browns. And Crowell, second and seven up the middle, going to get caught before he can get through that hole. Just four yards for him on that play. So now third and three from the 46. Manziel, empty backfield, looking downfield, going to find a receiver. It's going to be Gabriel again, and he's just going to run by the defender. Allen, the safety, cannot get to him, dive for him at least. He just waves an arm at him and just lets Let's him go by for the touchdown, and it is now a tie game. 24 24, 46 seconds to go in the third quarter. And what is happening in this game? Now, third and seven is we're trying to avoid a three and out here. Carr throws, does complete it. It's Amari Cooper. We haven't called his name in a while as Carr. Not having a horrible day, but the turnovers are killing us right now. First and ten here, play action, Carr, and I don't know what happens here. I 
I've ran this play before, and the quarterback does that. He just like turns around in a circle. I'm not sure what that is. Obviously, need to try to not run that again. But instead, we now have a third and 22. An absolute mile to go, and we're going to complete it. Look at this. Rivera having himself a day here. The tight end, that is his third big catch of this game. Now second and five. Carr looking. Has a receiver there in the middle, and he's going to find Holmes for the first down as we're inside the 10. Carr 272 yards passing now, but here third and goal. Carr looking. Going up the middle, fumbles the ball again. Penn fortunately recovers it, as I think that's fumble number three for him on the day. We do get the field goal, so we take the lead. Now second and ten, the pass. Manziel to Hauser, but he drops the ball. So third and ten coming here. Manziel shotgun. Crowell to his left. 6.49 left in the game. Manziel going to drop back to pass. Going to go deep, and he's going to find no. That is going to be incomplete. I think that was Hawkins there, but he only gets one foot in bounds. So a big stop there for that Raiders, Raiders defense. We go back to work on offense. Second and 13, the pass to Murray. The halfback screen, but he's going to be dropped for a loss. So now third and 14, Carr shotgun. Four wide receivers. Carr looking, going to get sacked. Fumbles it again, and the Browns recover it. Starks jumps on it. That is fumble number four on the day. What in the heck is going on as the Browns have the ball now? Third and 10, Manziel looking, going to throw. Flag on the play. Crowell will not get the first down. It's going to be holding, and we elect to move them back as because the wind factor is there, if we can stop them on this next play, I think they will be out of field goal range. So third and 20 defense. Step up here. Manziel dropping back, looking, has some time, throws, and he completes the pass. Andre Hawkins as Allen, the safety, is playing horribly in this game. First and goal here, Manziel. Do we regret calling that penalty or accepting that penalty? Is There's going to be another holding penalty here. So from the two, they're going to be backed up yet again. I think that's the same guy. But are we going to regret not just declining that penalty and letting them kick the field goal? As with a touchdown, they will take the lead. Third and goal here, Manziel. Last chance to the halfback, Robert Turbin, and he is in for the touchdown. Yes, we do regret accepting the penalty as we are now down four. First and ten, Carr takes another hit, and it's another freaking fumble. That's fumble number five on the day. Barkevius Mingo, third sack of the day. Five fumbles. I have never seen anything like this before. Second and 18 now. Next play, Carr dropping back, going to take off here. We try to slide, but of course we don't, and we fumble again. Fumble number six on the day, the fourth turnover for Carr. And with this first down, the game is over as the Browns absolutely shock the Raiders here, taking it 31-27. to What a forgettable game here, one we need to forget. You take a look at the final stats. The Browns just 38 yards rushing, but 331 yards passing with all of our turnovers. Actually, we had five turnovers. 229 yards passing because of all the sacks that Carr took, but you see the stats here. Manziel just 50% passing, but 341 in the air. Carr has 271. Two touchdowns for Carr, three for Manziel. We do throw those two interceptions to us, forgetting the one interception. So two interceptions, six fumbles, unbelievable. Latavius Murray, 17 for 83. We kind of had to abandon the run game, but another good game for him. He also gets a touchdown. Derek Carr, six, uh, six fumbles. I cannot believe he fumbled the ball six times. Taylor Gabriel, 117 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Michael Rivera, 92 for a touchdown. Hawkins with 85. Hausler with 80. Mari Cooper, 5 for 60 and a touchdown. As now on defense, Deshaun Gibson with 10. Allen with 10 tackles as well, but I don't think Allen had a very good game. Mingo with three sacks. Kruger with two. A lot of sacks there for the Browns. And then the interceptions from Gibson, Kruger, and McGill. As for our Week 3 MVP, we're going to give it to Michael Rivera. He had a very good game, had that huge, impressive touchdown catch in the first half. So he will get Week 3 MVP. Let me know in the comments down below who you feel should get the MVP for Week 3. And now we move on to Week 4 in this one. Thankfully, another easier game. The Raiders, a pretty easy schedule for the first four weeks as we now get the 0-3 Bears. This is a team struggling mightily in real life. They're struggling as well. They're starting to trade off all their players. But this one's going to be on the road. So you'll see Week 4 in the next video. That's going to be it for this one, though. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.